one of my favorite courses in the School of Ministerial Training was the Pastor-Teacher course. And I can remember, even though, um, what was that, 20 years ago? That I can remember what he taught because it was so anointed and being in a pastoral role, you can implement everything that he's poured into you that he received from the Holy Spirit with that revelation knowledge that God gave him to effectively be a shepherd over these sheep. The Bible School has just been such a blessing you know, to my life and to Sharon's life. We would not be able to do what we're doing you know, in Philadelphia here in Newcastle and you know, working with the youth ministry and working with the various areas of ministry if we had not got that time of equipping. And I want to encourage you those of you that are here at this 25th anniversary celebration, because I know, I'm sure Pastor Joanne and Pastor Gary and Pastor Fair are going to probably talk about the Bible School this morning because it's one of the heartbeats of the ministry is whether you're a teenager, you know, whether you're a mom or dad, whether you're single, whether you're 13 years old or 70 years old, it doesn't matter. The Word of God will bring transformation in your life. And it's a concentrated time where you can come and be impacted by the Word of God. So I encourage you to go. Whether you feel called to ministry or not, whether, you know, even if you feel called to just be in, in business, the Word of God that you learn will change your life and it will cause your business to go to an entire different level. We went in Friday night for the first time with um, the course is Liberty, Your Liberty in Christ. This is Gander Hill Prison. They have no liberty. They can't go anywhere. And um, Pastor Gary is teaching on video. And uh, to watch the men, to watch their faces, to see them absorbing the word as it was penetrating them, to see them light up with revelation, it reminded me of... Um, of someone who was driving in the desert in a nice air-conditioned 4x4 with a big water cooler and they come across a man who's crawling along with every strength that he's got dying of thirst and they get out and they give that man a cool tall drink of water and it revives him and brings life that living water and that's what's happening to these men in there you can see it and you can hear it when they talk it's just a wonderful experience school to this country in French. I will only put it in the hands of men who will walk with integrity, who will walk in honesty, who will carry out the word of God. I do not put the word of God in the hands of men that are manipulators, that are controllers. God puts the word of God in the hands Dieu a mis sa parole dans les hommes. Who are going to take that word of God? Ces hommes sont capables de pouvoir prendre la parole de Dieu. Shake the nation with its power. Ces hommes sont capables de pouvoir. The Bible school, they have a small Bible school. I have only 40 students, you know. But uh, we come, we try to find all material, everything. Come too hard because I'm, I cannot speak English. I cannot read English. So very, very hard. Mm -hmm. So we try to find everywhere to uh, put in the country to be command, teaching, training. So very, very difficult for me. And so that vision comes to my mind all the time. But you imagine, 79, and I started church only one year, and that time Vietnamese communists, and the church grew too, too fast, mm -hmm. because many people hungry the word of God. Because when communists uh, come out over four years, kill all three million people, only three men still alive my church, only 650 people. Three men, so, group me. Yeah. So about... So about three, yeah. so out of 350 people only three 600, people, 650 600, people 650 yes sir, from my church they killed them all they can be killed by Cameroos yeah and uh, only three men were alive include me so by God payback I planned a church only eight months God bring many many people a lot of came and to the Lord and God began heal them and uh, not long ago the church became quiet large 
about 600 to 700 people only mm. eight months and because of the Vietnam we don't like the Christian they, you know they put me underground prison and we get shot the door again that time thank you father thank you for your answer to pray Lord rebuild your Bible school you know. Reach your work to those people who are suffering, who are hungry to your work. Thank you, Father. I ask you to multiply. Bless your people here. Thank you for your saying, a man of God. Thank you, you sent your servant. Gary came here. And your precious son come here, God. But to do your job. Thank you for the sacrifice. Suffering from the family, suffering from their people. They sacrifice their life for this nation. Because they have love from you. They obey your word. They listen to your command to go. Thank you, Father. As you bless your servant, Granny, and his family, God. He stay away from his family. As you bless the family at home. Send the angel protect them. And so the Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We can see the power that is within the souls of those whom we raise up in Victory Bible School. I believe that you have a call to the ministry. I believe that you, as founder and president of Victory Bible School, have a call to the ministry that you need to fulfill. I want you to open your heart right now. We're raising up men. We're raising up women to change this world. And God wants to use you to affect nations. Don't be limited in your American mentalities any longer. Come to Victory Bible School. Let your life change the course of nations in Jesus' name. Well, it's been a good 10 years so far. We've enjoyed our time with the Lord. We've led a little over a million people to the Lord so far. Been in 39 countries. Opened 127 Bible schools. We've graduated over 1,000 students from this Bible school here. How many students have graduated from here, Pastor Jim? Okay. 900, not 1,000. All right. Look at your neighbor say, well, we're always trying to evangelism something around here. All right. 900 students graduated from here, and uh, there's probably between five and 6,000 students enrolled around the world going to Bible school, and we're having a good time growing in God's grace, and we appreciate you coming out to Victory Explosion. Hallelujah. How do we get those from a non-participant as being just a spectator into the throes of God's authority? And we've seen that these video schools have done just that. You know, many people, they, they fear when they hear about pulpit. They think, oh, some man like this failed years ago. A man like this failed years ago. Mm. I don't want to go and fail. But by the time they hear what you have to say and what these teachers have to say about what God can do with their life through the video Bible school, they are challenged to say, I'm not here to warm the bench. No. I'm not here to just sit down only to teach in Sunday school, only to be an usher in the church. These are good, but they are yes. the starting point. They are not the ending. Bishop Ojo of Lagos yeah. was once my usher, That's right. was once my driver. Today, he's a bishop reaching millions of people by television Praise and reaching God. thousands of people every week to face to face. He's now a bishop. He, yeah. he, he, he chose one day to leave the job of usher to become an evangelist, from evangelist to a pastor, from pastor now to a bishop. Mm. And God is using him mightily. So video school like this, where you spend less, yeah. To go into curriculum argument mm. can help you know the ministry of deliverance, know the ministry of healing, know the ministry of salvation. Praise and I'm glad that God laid this in your heart. And there's no other place, I say this joyfully too, and you can quote me anywhere. There's no other place under the planet Earth mm. where your video Bible school has had impact, and we have, like in Nigeria. Because Nigeria is one out of every four black men is a Nigerian. Mm. What Chinese are to the world is what Nigeria is That's to the right. black world. That's right. So you are in the right place, and thank God for our cooperative joint effort to reach more for God. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Papa. Thank we you appreciate you being here with thank us today and the God. anointing, the giving of your life. I'm very grateful to God for what I saw in Victory Explosion 94. The best is yet to come. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. I had taught the Bible for years. I had learned a lot of things, but when I went to Bible school with the teaching of the Word of Pastor Gary, it just it just accelerated uh, the, the information and the wisdom that God had placed in my spirit. I, I could understand a lot of things a lot clearer, a lot faster. I could just hear truth, and all of a sudden I, I could just run through my spirit, and I could just come to an end conclusion of a truth, which was amazing. But the Word of God is alive, 
and because it was so alive with, from Pastor Gary, it just affected my spirit and it, 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 it gave me a, such a hunger and thirst for the things of God that I, I never knew I could even have. Gary Whetstone Worldwide Ministries presents The School of Biblical Studies. It's in Luke chapter 9 that Jesus said, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. And in Matthew 11, he said, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. You know, we talk about a yoke between the two animals as getting ready for work. It sounds like a burden, and indeed it is. So we might think of yoke as a negative word. It implies sweat and toil. But I look at it this way. If we're going to do the work anyway, sharing the load is the best way to do it. Jesus is saying to us, in the work and the burdens of life, we don't need to bear those alone. They're there for us to do. We can't escape them. But he says, yoke up with me. I will join you. Two of us will pull together, and the burden will be easier. From audio tape to VHS tape to CD to VCD, DVD, MP3, MPEG, and now online, the School of Biblical Studies has effectively used the latest technology to deliver the timeless Word of God to an estimated 500 schools in the U.S. and international locations. 